For anyone planning to get the COVID-19 vaccine or who has gotten the COVID-19 vaccine, you may be wondering how you'll feel immediately after being vaccinated and what behaviors you should change. COVID-19 specialist Amanda Decker takes a look at the do's and don'ts. After getting your COVID-19 vaccine, you may experience a number of different minor symptoms, but keep in mind everyone is different and what you've heard from other people may not be true for you. The most common symptom is injection site pain, which typically goes away after one to two days. The best way to prevent pain in your arms is to take it easy and avoid heavy lifting or doing any activities to give it time to heal for a few days. Fever is also a common symptom, but typically goes away within about 12 hours. People who get the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines may not experience any symptoms after the first shot, but after dose number two, it's much more common to feel injection site pain, fever, nausea, and have a headache. The majority of symptoms are mild and typically go away within 24 hours after that second dose. If you get the one dose Johnson & Johnson shot, you may feel symptoms after that shot, the most common being fever. You can take Tylenol to help with the aches and fever, and if you can, plan to take it easy for at least one day after getting vaccinated. With the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, you reach the highest level of protection two full weeks after that second dose. The Johnson & Johnson shot offers the highest level of protection after 20 28 days. But even after you get the shots, you should still be wearing a mask in public until more people can get vaccinated. The vaccines are shown to prevent severe COVID-19 infections and death, but there is still a possibility that you can track a mild case of COVID-19 if you're exposed to someone who is unvaccinated and infected. And you can still spread the virus after you're vaccinated if you become infected too. As of Monday, about 45 million Americans have been vaccinated, which is just under 14% of the country's population. I'm COVID-19 specialist Amanda Decker reporting.